Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is TBR Schmidt and this is my wife, Sam. Hi. Today we are watching episode two of Band of Brothers. We just finished watching episode one and what'd you think? I loved it. Um, I'm really excited for the series. Um, I kind of touched on in the last episode in kind of comparison to Saving Private Ryan, how much I liked the characters in right. that movie. And I think um, having 10 episodes of this and really getting to explore the character development um, like was most of the first episode. Right. Um, I'm really liking it so far. So I think we kind of left off pretty much about to go right into it. Yeah, pretty much it's it's D-Day. They're in the planes. They're ready to drop behind enemy lines. So, I mean, we're just going to kind of get right into it. I explained in the first episode that I have already seen the series before, but this is brand new for you. Mm -hmm. So I'm super excited to watch this with you. I got really excited after watching the first episode. Even though I've seen this series before, there's a ton that I just don't really remember. Um, but primarily, this is just really exciting for me to watch with you and to kind of get your reaction. So with that, let's get into episode two. The pilot gives me the green light. I'm out the door immediately. In any direction you went, there would be enemy. You knew it. You try to put it all over your mind. Sure, it's so rough for them to talk about. Yeah. Must be terrifying. You're safer in the dark, perhaps, but... You can't see also. Yeah. Just like that, a whole plane filled with soldiers gone. So much chaos. Yeah. Last got it, sir. And my radio and with. And you've lost your means of communicating. Able, sir. Guess that means one of us is in the wrong drop zone, huh, sir. Yeah. Or both of us. A rifleman first, radio man second. Well, maybe you could tell that to my platoon leader. <laughs> We're not lost, Private. We're in Normandy. <laughs> exactly where they're supposed to be. Lieutenant Winters? Is that you? <laughs> 82nd, where the hell are we? <laughs> raincoat? You got a raincoat? Yeah. We're about seven kilometers away from our objective. Good thing Winters is good with maps. Yeah. Flash. Thunder. Thunder. <laughs> Lieutenant, are you? Wait for my command. It's a lot of people. I say wait for my command. You wait for my command, Sergeant. Taking out some frustration from learning that his brother's dead. It's lucky he didn't get any of them killed. Called? Yeah. Gonorrhea. Garnier. Gonorrhea. Get it? He just sat there. He didn't have a weapon. Joe, he don't even drink. Anybody need supplies or ammo? Now's the time to get it. You okay? Yes, Sergeant. Well, let's go. When they walked up, I didn't even realize that was a body. Yeah. Yeah, tell that to him, cowboy. My name's Hall. That's so. He's gonna learn to return his fire is all. His brother got at a casino. Found out before we jumped. It's better that they know. They need to be a team. Yeah. Or a band of brothers. <laughs> Great job. Where are you from, son? Eugene, Oregon. I'm from Astoria. You don't say. Yeah. 
Orange Street. What gives? What, what are you doing in a crowd uniform? All true Aryans should return to the fatherland. What got you to Eugene? I was born in Eugene. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Oh my God. Oh, easy company. Slowly piecing the company back together. Known as Cowboy. From Texas. Manhattan. It's good to see you, Dick. Yeah, you too, Buck. You know, if he is missing, wouldn't that put you in line to be the next commander of Easy? Hey, Lieutenant Spears. You got some cigarettes? Hey, keep the pack. <laughs> yeah, so I was in Platinum 39. What are the chances of that, huh? You and me, a hundred miles from each other, working to practice the same job. I gotta run. I'll see you around. Yeah. See you around. Uh oh. Cigarette? Danke. feeling that was gonna happen you had a feeling that was coming yeah as soon as they walked up i was like mm. also i think that guy was the dad on gossip girl yeah he is <laughs> now they're right between us and causeway number two firing onto the boys landing at utah the germans are in the trenches with access to the entire battery how many crowds do you think we're facing no idea we'll be making the main assault understood yes sir yes sir, yes, sir. I want you and your TNT as fast as possible. Yes, sir. <laughs> wow, they were that close? I'll draw their fire to the right from the truck. Take two men and hit them from the left. Don't give away your position until you have to. Mm, I want that I'm not TNT feeling it with this Lorraine guy. <laughs> I feel like that's a much too important job. Jam. Oh, he had the brass knuckles. They're not gonna kill him? I think he's pretty well knocked out. God, I'm so confused. They're firing on the third gun. We better blow this thing before they figure out what the hell has happened. I think one of those dead crabs has a Luger! Look out, you friggin' Luger! Hey, Sarge? Yeah. You think this is a ticket home? Maybe. I just got here. You're fucking guinea trap, gonorrhea. <laughs> All right, that kid. Jesus, you gotta... <laughs> Throughout all this chaos, he can still like keep focused and stick to the plan. Yeah. Like... Okay, Hall. Keep your head down. Oh. Are you kidding? It's back to the ways. We know. Oh. Oh, yours! 
Spears is gung ho. I feel like this guy's getting like a war high. He got it. <laughs> His shots are like Yeah. They're incredible. We killed maybe around twenty, so yeah, probably there's forty left. Going our way? Sure. <laughs> Looks delicious. <laughs> Don't that make you our commanding officer, sir? Yeah, it does. It's been a day of first. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you think, Garnier? I'm not a Quaker. You know that map you found? That had every crowd gun in Normandy on it. Oh yeah? Yeah. Some really good information that he just found. He's just like, yeah. <laughs> I lost a man today. Paul. Man. I need load enough to buy a beer. I sent that map up to division. I think it's gonna do some good. Did very, very well getting all those guns and getting the map and all he's thinking about is Hall. Mm-hmm. But really, like, how do you detach yourself? Somehow I managed to get home again. I promised God and myself that I would find a quiet piece of land someplace and spend the rest of my life in peace. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah. All right. Well, that was episode two of Band of Brothers, and that was a massive shift in tone from the first episode. Yeah, it was pretty much action for the entire episode. Yeah. Um, you know, after the landing, we had, well, I guess before the landing, just... Yeah, in the sky, they were getting yeah. shot by, you know, like, flat guns and... And airplanes are getting blown out of the sky. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, people are dying, you know, before they even, before reach, even, the they even reach the ground. Mm -hmm. And then once they do reach the ground, it, it was such a mess. Everyone's so scattered everywhere that they, you know, were piecing together multiple companies mm -hmm. just to get enough men to, you know, stay alive. Right. Once they got to the ground and they all kind of started finding each other, we're still continuing with that character development. Right. Um, getting to know everyone. Uh, we're adding additional characters from other companies. And I mean, Hall, he was the first person. He was the first person that, that Winners that, encountered. Yeah. And Winners' first loss. Right. Of someone that he's essentially commanding. Mm-hmm. And yeah, and now, speaking of commanding, Winters will be stepping up. Yeah, as, as far as we know so far, you know, his superior is dead or missing. Or, yeah. So now he has control of Yeezy Company. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they, obviously, that was insane what they did. Like, yeah. at the end, you know, they talked about that that's still being taught. Right, their, their attack on a fixed position is still being taught at right. West Point. And that was just incredible. Like the amount of chaos in the camera, um, kind of that first person like running with them, but like in front of them. Right. All of that, it was just, it shows <laughs> all of the chaos of it, but he still remained organized. And like, I can't imagine. Um, Sobel? Yeah, I can't imagine <laughs> like he would have gotten them all. Oh, yeah, they would all be dead. They wouldn't have even taken the first gun. No. You went through a lot of stuff, and that's crazy because this is, this was a shorter episode. It was only like just about 50 minutes, mm -hmm. and so much of it is action. Right. Yet you got character development with um, Bill Garnier, you know, not listening to Winters, mm -hmm. and then at the end, like taking a little joke, respecting Winters, seeing mm -hmm. Winters take a little shot of alcohol, saying, I'm not a Quaker. Yeah. Um, you know, and then you had. Like you said, Winter's taking control of Easy Company. The experience of him losing someone in battle for the first time. And I feel like that ending scene where he kind of made that deal with God of like, if I survive this, like, 
I promise just to get like a piece of land and live peacefully for the rest of my life. I think that's also kind of like him also accepting the fact that Hall was the first, but most likely won't be the last. Right. The way that he took Hall's death so personally, mm -hmm. there's no way that mentally he'd be able to make it through no. the rest of his time there if he treats every death like that. Yeah. You even kind of got a glimpse of that when they came to the uh, paratroopers who were stuck in the trees. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it, it wasn't like, oh, let's cut them down. Or it was like, okay, let's get our, let's get more guns and ammo. And you had that one actor, that one character who was just like standing there being like, um, and then yeah. Lipton had to be like, like you all right? And he's like, yep. Yeah. yeah, it's a reality check. Like. I mean, these are kids, yeah, and yeah, just... for as long as they've been training, training is not it. No. So just dropping into that and it just being Pure utter chaos, chaos yeah. was just yeah, it was it was shocking for for everyone, and and you got to see more leadership from Winters, mm -hmm. like you said, handling all of that chaos, perfectly taking these fixed positions. Yeah, he did lose. Uh, an individual someone got injured and stuff but you know i mean that, that's war and he did it so well that like like it said it's being taught yeah no winters is incredible he's an <laughs> incredible leader i like them all really right i mean every character is so well done and you get enough time with them that you you understand their own kind of personalities there's just a lot of characters yeah so i'm really trying to focus on making sure that i'm not confusing anybody especially because you know you see them all clean and they're all dirty or running dirty and then they're running <laughs> yeah and then or people just refer to them like as just their names and i'm like okay the names the <sighs> face so um it's only you know we only got through two episodes so far i'm really enjoying it I was super excited to watch this with you and after the first episode I got more pumped and then watching this one I'm like yes it's like I'm, I just want to keep watching it and I hope everyone else is enjoying it we want to thank everyone for all of the support and if you would like to see the full length reaction to this as well as everything else that we have reacted to the link to our patreon is in the description if you want to interact with us on any other social media platforms those links are in the description as well so with that peace everyone Bye. Bye.